In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of the best lenses that you can use for the Canon EOS R6. Hi guys, my name's Ben from Ben's Guide. And in the video today, my aim is to share with you some of the best lenses that you can use for the EOS R6 and also the EOS R5. So if you're a current owner of that camera or you're looking to buy it, then this video is also gonna be perfect for you too. Now, I aim to actually balance out price and quality in this video because I understand that the camera system itself is super expensive. So buying into the lens system as well is gonna be even more money. And hopefully I do a good job in the video today. If you haven't yet and you're new to the channel though, please hit subscribe and smash that notification bell. This means that you'll get notified of more photography and videography videos, and even some social media tips to help you grow your presence online. First up is the Canon RF 24 through to 105 mm f4. Now this is definitely my most used lens for the Canon mirrorless system. And the reason is, is because of how good it is. Also, it gives me that 24 through to 105 mm focal distance. Now this is brilliant because you can shoot wide at 24 and in a lot of cases, I won't shoot any wider than that for pretty much most of the stuff I do. Also, I can go straight through to 105 millimeter, which gives me that medium distance and really a lot of versatility in the focal length to shoot with. Now this camera is particularly good for photography and video. And the reason is because of how sharp it is and also because of its really good auto-focusing system, which is very silent when in use. Now this lens actually has five stops of image stabilization, which is a lot. Now when you actually couple this lens here with the Canon EOS R6 or R5, you're gonna be able to match up the in-body image stabilization of these cameras with the stabilization in the lens. And this is gonna give you some incredibly low shutter speeds that you'll be able to shoot at handheld. Now this lens is actually f4 all the way through. That's from the 24 millimeters through to 105. Now some of you might think that that's not that low, but because it has nine aperture blades, you're actually able to get some really pleasing bokeh and also some nice background blur with this lens. So don't think that you'll be struggling in that department. Now, one of my favorite things about this lens is its versatility. You can use this for pretty much every single style of photography. You can shoot weddings, you can shoot street photography, portraits, landscapes, you name it. And it doesn't stop there because it's particularly good for video as well. So if you want to shoot B-roll, if you want to shoot short films, or if you want to shoot YouTube videos like this one, then you're gonna to struggle to find a better lens at a better price. Talking about the price, this lens, when compared with the Canon RF 24 through to 70 millimeters, 2.8 is actually 1,200 pound cheaper. Now the difference between these two lenses in quality is pretty much nothing at all. You don't lose quality, you get more focal length distance, and the only thing that you do lose out on really is the lower aperture number that you get with the 24 through to 70 millimeter. But apart from that, everything's almost identical, and it's 1,200 pound cheaper. So if you were to buy this lens, then you will be paying just over a thousand pound. Now I will leave the links to every single product that you see in this video in the description. And if you do buy from these links, this is really helpful for supporting the channel and helping me carry on making videos like this in future. The next lens to make the list is the Canon 70 through to 300 millimeter f4 through to f 5.6. Now this might surprise some of you that this lens has made the list, but let me share with you some of the big benefits that this lens will give you. First up, the lens cost is $499 or £499, which for 70 through to 300 millimeters focal length is super low cost. Also, if you were to compare the RF version of 70 through to 200 millimeter, you're gonna get a lens which is priced at almost £3,000. So you can see the benefit in the cost. 
Now, of course, the RF version of the lens is going to give you some sharper images, but the image quality from this lens is still very, very good. Did I mention it also comes with four stops of image stabilization? Now, if you couple that with the R6 and the R5, you're going to get some really, really low shutter speeds when shooting handheld with this lens. Probably one of the best things about this lens, though, is the autofocus. It's pretty much the quickest autofocus of any Canon lens I've ever used. And if you were to add the autofocus system of the dual pixel to and also the animal autofocus, which you now have on the EOS R6 and R5, you're going to get some absolutely amazing autofocusing using this lens and the camera systems. The fact is about this lens is it's brilliant value for money. It has a fantastic autofocus system and it also takes some really good quality images. So why would you not consider this lens for your Canon EOS R6 and R5? Now, if you do want to use this lens with your R6 and R5, then you must get the adapter so that you can add the EF lens onto your R6 six or r5 now i'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check it out there now before i discuss any of the other lenses in today's video if there's any lenses which i don't mention and you think would be good for this list then please add them in the comment section below because this is actually really going to benefit anyone that's watching the video uh, and they can see what you've left and also get some ideas from the community as well Okay, the next lens is the RF 600mm and 800mm f11. Now these lenses were announced at the same time as the R6 and the R5 and they are going to be or have been designed especially for the R range of mirrorless cameras. What's really impressive about these lenses are a few things. First, they take really sharp images. If you look at these images, you can see that they are super sharp. The cost of the lenses themselves, the $699 or £699 for the 600mm and £899 for the 800mm. These are really low priced lenses for the focal lens and the fact that they're prime. You would not be able to get anything of this price for even double the cost. So they are really, really well priced. Now, I think that Canon has made them for this reason to be competitive. And that's the reason that they've got this F11 aperture. Now, whereas some of you might be put off by this, there is one good thing to know about it. The way they've designed the lenses, Canon, is that they've got rid of the aperture blades. And this means you're gonna get a lot more pleasing bokeh and, and background blur when using these lenses at F11. You also get five stops of image stabilization. And when you actually use that with the R6 and R5, you're gonna be able to get some really low shutter speeds that you can shoot at. Now these lenses are quite lightweight and that's the way that Canon have been able to save some money with them. But they have come up with a great idea and made them collapsible, which means that they're gonna be 25% smaller when they're collapsed and not being used. And this is gonna be perfect for wildlife photographers and sports photographers which want to use lenses like this when they're traveling. They're gonna be lightweight and easily take up less room than if you were to use another lens of this focal length. And that's a really, really good benefit of these lenses. The price is gonna be so much cheaper, like I've said, and also the autofocus system is gonna be super quiet, which is also gonna benefit people using these lenses as well. I can't really say anything bad about these lenses apart from the f11 aperture which you get it would have been nice if the aperture was say f4 but you're not going to get that with these lenses because canon have had to keep the cost and the price down and that's why they're so cheap the last lens to make the list today is the rf 15 through to 35 millimeter f 2.8 this lens is incredible now, Ken Rockwell describes this lens as the sharpest ultra-wide lens that he's ever shot with. And it just is, it's brilliant. It takes the sharpest images of any lens that I've ever used. And it's brilliant for both photography and video because of its autofocus system, which is almost silent and it's very, very quick. You also get a very low aperture, which is perfect for getting that background blur and beautiful bokeh 
and you get five stops of image stabilization, which you already know that the uh, Canon R6 and R5 have inbuilt body image stabilization. So when you couple this lens with those camera bodies, it's just gonna be phenomenal. Honestly, there is really absolutely nothing bad I can say about this lens apart from the price. Okay, so this is the most expensive lens on the list today, and for good reason, really. You can pick this lens up for about £2,300, and I almost heard your gasps at the other side of the camera, but the truth is, it's worth every single penny. Now, I do understand that a lot of you will not have this kind of money to spend on a lens, so the good news I can provide you with is that if you are on a budget or you just don't have that kind of money, then there is the EF version of this lens, which is nearly a thousand pound cheaper. And it still gives you some really fantastic photos. It offers you four stops of image stabilization and it's a great camera lens. So if you do want to get an ultra wide lens like this, but you don't have that much money available to you, then I would highly recommend getting the EF version, which is not far off the quality of this RF version. Now, like I said earlier in the video, guys, there's only four lenses which I've added in today's video. I didn't want to make this video really long. So if you want to help out the community here at Ben's Guide, and you can think of some lenses which any owner of the EOS R6 or R5 would benefit from, then please leave your suggestions in the comments section of this video where they can see them and benefit from your ideas as well. Okay guys, I wanna thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you got something from it. That was my aim. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.